when these performers were sidelined for so many decades in Lahore and without work, and it seemed like the country was really on the verge of losing a chapter of its musical history, came really, really close, it seems, at that point. How do you think the film has helped raise their profiles and offer them a place in the contemporary cultural dialogue? Well, um, one of the things that uh, the film, I mean, the film is just coming out, it's just opening in theaters in, in the US and we will be taking the film to Pakistan and, and around the world. But, you know, one of the things that, that what Suchal has been able to do is they've been able to make their music relevant and contemporary and cool for the next generation. So um, younger people who may not be interested in, in some of our traditional instruments like the flute or, or tabla or are, are looking at this and saying, oh, this is very interesting and we'd like to learn a little bit more about it. Sure. But and there's great excitement about the film because you know what films are able to do is they 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 get new audiences in and people will become more familiar with with their music and and Suchil is recording an album with Universal Music here in the U.S. now yeah. uh, with a number of American artists and the film uh, the uh, album will be released uh, in spring of next year and you know hopefully they're going on tour um, as part of that uh, release and so you know there's a lot of good things that are happening and. At the end of the day, the film, uh, the, their music and the album, what it really all of us hope to do is cultivate new audiences for not only their music, but classical music and our instruments in general in Pakistan. Right.